rat bag, Spike? Tough. You're just a lousy pirate. Loose undercarriage, that's all. Unless your knife. You're going to cut it. Don't be a fool, you life wombat. I reckon you might as well pack it in. A couple of twists. There you are. Good as new. Spider, I think you better check the manoeuvrability of the elevators. I think your rudder might be stuck too. Ah, build up, Orville. Yeah, who asked you anyway? Yeah, just watch this, Marty Pants. Here she goes, Orville. Looks pretty manoeuvrable to me, Orville. Okay, Junior said, see if you can do any better. Orville can always do better. Now, all we have to do is see what's obstructing the free movement of your rudder and elevators. We'll have you back in the air in no time. Come on, Professor. Ah, a little problem with your rudder seating. Problem with its brain seating, more like it. <coughs> Got any chewing gum? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Pico and Greasy food. Thanks. than you guys. Can I have a chance, Sure. Got one minute. Don't prank it. Hey, Spike, can I have a go when Wombat's time's up? Time's up, Wombat. You can have another five minutes, but... Gee, Spike, I need to take a hint. Crack off, will ya? Be your own plane. Bring it down, Wombat. Gives me five minutes up. Come on, Spider. We're getting out of here. There's an awful smell hanging around. Yeah, stop hanging around, awful. You're not fair. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Awful's grassland! Yeah, better not walk before he tries to find. Not for me. Yeah, good one. Look out! Wilma! Wilma? Smithy, 1928. See ya. Thanks.
Bet you haven't. How to bet you haven't, Bart. Goat's butt, woman. Yeah, you shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition. But it's a conjunction, Bart. Well, Ma. Real Ma, you said that again. I had to say Bart to say it was a conjunction. I thought Bart was proposition. Preposition. Conjunction. What's conjunction? That's enough, all of you. Orville got more than me again. I'm bigger. That's because you get more than me. Not another word. Well, you've got dirt on your elbow. And on his bum. Wilma! Wilma! I thought I said not another word. I fell over. You got pushed. They're bullying him again. I think you'd better walk home with him for a while, Wilma. I don't want to walk home with him. He's a creep. And not. Ow, Mummy, all kicked me. Dobber. Quiet, both of you. Not another word. Eat. That's so funny. Awful, awful. Oh, go to your room at once. I'll get you, rabbit. Go to your room at once. And you can go to your room. Teach you to be a copycat. Teach you to be a copycat. Cut it out. Cut it out. Rabbit. Rabbit. Sorry, Mum. I don't know what gets into your kids sometimes. Mm. You don't seem to have achieved much. It's too hard for you. doing your homework as you spend figuring out ways to avoid it. You have plenty of time for your planes. Pilots need an education these days. It's nearly the holidays, Mum. I know, darling. It's a deception I don't like. I'm sorry. I need to be able to trust you, Orville. You can trust me, Mum. Honest. I would have got it done. Drying out. We'd better get on with it. I won't even pretend anymore. I'll just do the play. Just get on with it. Thanks, Mum. Well, can I have a look at your plane? Look, don't touch. Mummy, can I take my teddy to school? Of course not. I've heard of such nonsense. Why not? 
You don't take toys to school. How come Orville's taking his plane then? He's not. Hey, Orville. Oh, Mum. Thanks, Rabbit.
Get out of here! Go and scat! Scat, I said! But, but that's a tiger. A real tiger. An original tiger moth. With a fabric body and a gypsy major engine. And what would you know about tiger moths? Go on, go home! Mister, who owns her? What's she doing here? None of your business. Where did she come from? Get away from my plane! Go on, get out of here! of tearing past like I don't exist. Sorry, Beryl. What's gone into you? Beryl, I've seen it. I've seen I'm going to get my teddy bears with you. Seen what, Orville? Seen what? Oh, well, that's the way you want it. Beryl, who's the man down at the old mill? So you've seen it. What? The aeroplane. You knew? There for years. Why didn't you tell me? Not my business, too. Well, what's it doing down there? Don't ask me, ask old Harry. You know him, too? I might do. Well, aren't you going to tell me anything? Well, I'll tell you this much. His name's Harry Campbell, and he's the caretaker of the old mill. You want to know any more, you ask him yourself. That time you stood up on your own. I wouldn't ask him anything. He kicked me in the bum and was going to hit me with a stick. He's just a crazy old Dero. Listen, Orville, do me a favour. Don't go shooting your mouth off of things you know nothing about. Harry was a fine man, a hero like your grandfather until the world turned its back on him. OK, Beryl, I didn't mean it. I know you didn't, Sunshine, but a lot of people do, and well, I just get mad. I know. So do I. Busted. What a mess. Shouldn't have taken it to school, huh? Yeah. Listen, Rabbit, go and get me a reel of cotton and a box of matches. Go on, quick. I'm not allowed to have matches. Rabbit. OK, OK. were struggling to lift the sky even higher above their camp, it suddenly split open, revealing the beauty of their first sunrise. Overjoyed with the light and warmth, the magpies burst into their melodious call, and as they sang, they saw the blanket of darkness break into fragments and drift away as clouds. Orville? Orville? Are you with us, Orville? Orville! So, you've consented to become part of this class again, Orville. Did you have a good sleep?
Now you've seen there's no way of getting in there, why don't you clear off for good? I only wanted to bring you a present, Mr. Campbell. Here. Hey! Hey, come back! I don't want your present! Had to work back. Oh, yuck, Mum, you know I hate McDonald's, sir. Yuck, I hate McDonald's. I can see a junior burger. I want a Big Mac, not a junior burger. Thanks, Mum. I didn't think you liked McDonald's either. It's OK. You're not coming down with anything, are you? Nope. So I hope you all come back next year keen to do well. Have a happy holiday and a safe holiday. Dismissed. Orville. Orville. Yes, miss? Have a happy holiday, Orville. And do try and pay a bit more attention next year. Yes, miss. All biplanes want to fly. The big desire in life. Breeze on the throttle, push the stick forward, and the tail comes right up. Then you just settle back and fly. Why doesn't this one fly? Because it's wrecked, that's why. Why don't you fix it? Listen, Peanut, I don't want to fix it. Wouldn't take that much. Needs a fair bit of work here on the wing assembly. Struts replaced. Get the elevators working. Undercarriage looks all right. Fuselage seems sound structurally. Cos will have to take the engine out for a complete overhaul. Apart from that, a few minor bits and pieces. New body canvas, coat of paint. Shouldn't be too hard. And my name's Orville, not Peanut. The kids at school call me awful. You can too if it amuses you. I wouldn't dream of it. My name's Harry. Awful. Most people think I'm awful too. Reckon they're right. Well, now you've had a good look at it. Why don't you go back where you came from? Forget all about it. Go and play with your friends. I'd prefer to fix your plane. Oh, look at it. Awful. Why bother? So we can fly it. Fly it? Who says I could fly? I'm just an old Darrow. You only pretend to be an old Darrow. My grandfather was a pilot, and Beryl said you were a hero like him. Therefore, you can fly. Oh, she said that, but she... Well, you can just get out of here and go tell Beryl she's an interfering old coat who knows nothing, nothing, you hear? I think you ought to tell her that yourself, Mr. Campbell. I thought I told you my name was Harry. Father really a hero? I think he was just a pilot. Most pilots were heroes in those days. Mum, 
you know Beryl? Everybody knows Beryl, darling. I mean, do you like her? Is she a good person? Yeah, I think Beryl's a good person. Then why are people so cruel to her? Because she's different. People don't like other people to be different. What's a coward, Mum? It's a curly one. A coward is someone who doesn't do what they know is right because they're scared. Brave people do the right thing even when they're scared. Like fighting. Sometimes fighting is the coward's way out. And sometimes it's brave to walk away from a fight. And it takes bravery to be different. Mum, am I a coward? I wouldn't have thought so, darling. But you're the only one that can tell. Good night. Get my school bag. It's the holidays. So you reckon we can fix it, do you? Need some help, though. Have to be a secret. Wouldn't want every Tom, Dick, and Alphonse poking his nose in. Worth a try, isn't it? Yes. If we get her into the air just once, that'd be something. That'd show them. Hey, Olf, what we'll do is take her to pieces completely and build her up again, bit by bit. Crimes, Harry, she... I'm going to fly. Hey? I'm meant to be home for dinner. Oh, oh, well, run along then. I'll have a bit of a poke around and get things started. I'll come straight back. OK, Olf, see you then. Awful. What? Mum says she can come out now. Tell Mum I'm not coming out. Tell her if I'm not allowed to go out again, I may as well stay in bed. Oh, well, you must watch your temper. Tell her! OK, OK. Fix you, are you? You're gonna be just as stubborn as you were 30 years ago. You don't wanna fly, do you? Do you? You think you're doing me a favor? Well, you can stay on the ground for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself, Jacko. What a sight. I still reckon the best fun was Harry and his tennis ball. What tennis ball? <laughs> oh, tell Albert about the tennis ball, Jacko. Well, now, Albert. 
Harry and I are still in training, you know, and uh, one morning we uh, take out one of the masks to do a bit of moseying round behind the German lines. As we're getting in the plane, Harry's got this tennis ball. Sort of half cut open it was. He, he, he sticks it over the top of the joystick, because the knob's cracked. Well, we poke around behind the enemy lines a bit, don't see anything unusual, and all of a sudden, we runs across this broken down German tank with all these jerrys swarming all over it, trying to get it started, like you know. And standing on top of it, this man in the brass, waving his arms about, and all the others rushing around trying to please him. Well, I don't take no notice of this. The truth is, we're running short of fuel. But Harry here, he says, take her down, Jacko, I want to have a look. Well, I'm down to about 50 feet. Risking life and limbs, says Harry here can have a good look at him. And blow me down. What does he do? He leans out and throws his tennis ball at him. <laughs> <laughs> and would you believe it? It bounces right off the tank commander's car. No, you're well, kidding. They must have thought it was some secret weapon, the way they disappeared from sight in about three seconds flat. <laughs> and all that from a busted old tennis ball thrown by peace-loving Harry here. Who wouldn't hurt a fly if his life depended on it. <laughs> Well, uh, we'd better make a move, Harry. You've got a lot of work ahead of you. Oh, that's all right, Stan. I reckon I'll wait for Oval and make a start in the morning. Well, it's been great to you again. And remember, we'll be around if you ever need a hand. some visitors. Yeah. We can trust them to keep a secret. your mate's place up on the hills tonight. He's going to have a look at our instrument panel. I won't be back until about nine tomorrow night. Can you hang out until then? If I have to. Of course I can. for days. I'm okay, Mum, really. 
Got a couple of mates coming round tonight. Mechanics from the garage up the road. They're gonna pull out the engine and do her up in their workshop. Great. That's just great, Harry. Well, you just run on home for your dinner. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Okay, Stan. Yeah, let her drop, Harry. Nice and easy. Oh, square, Jack? Yeah, dead center, I'd say. Right. She's out of the truck. Take her out the back way. Sorry for you and the nipper to come, Harry. You're wheeling straight on. Give us a ring, I'll drop around in a week or so and let you know how she's going. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Jack. No worries. See you later, Arthur. Bye, Jack. Uh, Jack? Yes, matey. Will you ever, you know, be a pilot? Me a pilot? No way, Orville. <laughs> I'll fix them, but I won't fly them. Never catch me up in one of them things. <laughs> oh, don't worry, matey. She'll purr like a kitten by the time we're through. <laughs> please, Mum, please. I'll never do it again, I promise. Please. Nothing changes till you tell me where you've been going, young man. I can't tell you, it's a secret. I promised. What about the promise you made me? The one about honesty? I just can't tell you. Mammy's got a girlfriend. Wilma. Wilma, out. Rabbit, out. You will stay locked in your room until you tell me where you've been going and what you've been up to. And that means for the rest of the holidays, if necessary. But that's nearly six weeks. It's up to you. But I just can't tell you. Mum! Please, Rabbit, just this once. Nothing changes to you tell me where you've been going, young man. I've already told you where to go. Please. I don't know, or maybe I'll ask Mum first. Don't you dare. I'll pay you. How much? 50 cents. I want a dollar. OK. Now. OK, OK. Around? Nah. Wanna drag? Nah. Makes me go green. Where are you going? Living, delivering over for oil who's locked out in his room. What's it say? Want a cobbler? No thanks. Where are you taking it? Old mill. That's haunted, is it, Spike? No, nah, mate. Wouldn't be haunted if Orphan goes there. All reckons there's an old man living there, but... Yeah? The old Darrow. What's he got to do with it? All won't tell, that's why he's locked up in his room. Ah. 
Rose. See Rose. She's fine. Want a cobra? Thanks. Wilma says maybe he's got a girlfriend. It's really not my fault, Beryl. You got me into this by telling the kid I was a hero. What do you have to do that for? He was looking for a hero, Harry. For a minute there, I thought he might have found one. Well, around giving Orville all these expectations, making me live up to something I'm not. You say so, Harry? Yeah, I do. You like him, don't you? Rubbish. That's got nothing to do with it. Don't deny it. You've denied everything else for the last 30 years. I just don't want to let him down. Well, go and see his mother. Oh, no. She won't bite you. Well, just look at me. Probably end up in worse trouble. Harry. You know his mother, don't you? Please, Grandfather, I'll never do it again. How lucky you are, young man. Those are two very special friends you've got there. I can go then. Ah, uh, you'll stay home for today. But tomorrow, Mr. Campbell will come and take you to the hills. It's something to do with some instrument panels. After that, we we'll see. Just don't ever try anything like that again. Thanks, Mum. Number 51. One broken, one good. OK, let's have them over here. Uh, 
I reckon we can do these ourselves. You really should have told your mother. I thought it had to be a secret. Now, secrets are one thing, Orville. But honest is another. Take an airplane, for example. If you're not honest with her, you don't treat her with respect. Like if you try to get away with out doing an oil change when the hours are on the clock. Or if you don't bother too much with your pre-flight checking procedure, if you try to cheat your aeroplane like that, in the end, you're only cheating yourself. Because the aeroplane's vengeance can be very swift and very terrible. You'll come crashing down. You'll come crashing down. Then you try to blame the aeroplane. But all the time, it was you. And I think this needs a bit more. Anyway. If you're honest with her, treat her with the respect that she deserves, then she'd be good to you. You get on well with her. People are like that, Orville. If you treat them with honesty and respect, they'll be your friends for life. Okay, this back to number 51, and we'll cover up and go and see old Bert. Check up on those airframe pieces. I told you they were up to something. Harry! Hey, Spina! What? Come here! Thanks, Bert! That's terrific! Any time, Harry! What are all my for? Sorry I couldn't do that care piece for you. No worries. We'll think of something. Good luck with her. See ya. Is Bert ever a pilot? Shouldn't think so. This must be the old derelict. Yeah? What's Orbit doing here? But it's me. Listen, must be the old boat. Let's go. Well, I don't know where our other curved piece of wood is going to come from, Orv. What's so special about it? Well, it, it has to be bent into shape rather than cut that way. And the grain has to follow the curve so it'll be strong enough. Hey, hang on. Have you moved anything from here, Orville? No, I haven't touched it. What's 74? <coughs> 74, one distributor complete. Our distributor's missing. That's the whole idea. Okay, one bet. You got the dog for you? Here you are. Oh. Oh. Where'd you get it? Dad's got him. There you go, huh? What's he made of? Give us a look. Oh. <sighs> Thanks, Mrs. Bryden. Here, I'll put some paper in it so it'll burn better. Okay, Otto. Me? Why me? Because I said. What are you? Coward? Nah, just watch this.
So you can very, very carefully clean up that mess. Do some knitting now, Spike? Please don't. Why not? You know, feel embarrassed, would you? Well, how do you think I feel? I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so am I. Go on, get away with you and come and talk to me sometime. See you, Spike. See you, Robert. Yeah. You let him off lightly. I've got hopes for him. I've got hopes for everybody. Mum? On that chair in my room, is it mine? That chair happens to be a genuine Thomas Chippendale. It was your grandfather's favourite chair. But is it mine now? Mm -hmm. He wanted you to have it. He gave it to me. He left it to you. For me to have. Mm -hmm. For me to use. Yes. So now it's my chair. Yes, darling, it's your chair. Why? Just wondering. Where are you going, stupid? Sorry. Where are you taking that? None of your business. You better tell me. Get lost. Go play with your gang. No, talk sensible. Tell me where you're taking it. Never go me plane. I don't care. I don't care spying about your crummy little plane. I've got my own plane, a real one that I'm going to fly. Me, up there. You're a liar. No, I'm not. What's that? Oh. Uh, Something I found somewhere. Our distributor. Oh. 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 Calm down, will ya? Jesus, mate, stay down when you hit. You're as crazy as your sister. What do you mean, your chair? Ask Mum. Some bloke called Tom Chippendale gave it to my grandfather, who gave it to me, and now I'm giving it to us. Isn't the grain fantastic? Just what the air mechanic ordered. Well? Well what? Well, what are we waiting for? Hey, Orv. Yeah? Did you really give him the old one-two? I gave him a wallopy he'll never forget. <laughs> ah, fighting's a mug's game, Orv. But I'm proud of you just the same. Get the game. Now? Now.
They won't be back in a hurry. Good. We've got a lot to do before the engine goes in tomorrow night. Hang it down. That's it. Slowly now. Easy does it. Stop. Do you need the distributor yet? Distributor? No, matey. We fact a new one on in the workshop. This one's had it. <laughs> like I said, Oval, fighting's a mug's game. <laughs> Stuff's as thick as you are. Isn't there an easier way? Some people use the new lightweight plastic and nylon compound materials, Beryl, but then it wouldn't be a real plane. Not a real tiger moth, anyway. This will take us days. It's worth it. <laughs> Don't even breathe on it, Orville. This stuff catches fire at the smell of a spark. Fantastic. Just fantastic. I guess we can start on the wiring now. Not before you carry me home, you don't. Why white? Because. rain tomorrow.
Harry, you gave me such a fright. I thought you... Harry? Are you all right? It's no good, Orville. I said it's no good. Can't do it. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Why not? The hard. It was never really on, Orville. Oh, sure, there were times during the past few weeks when I thought, well, maybe. But it was never really a serious proposition. Preposition. What? Doesn't matter. Where are you going? Home. Home? Why? Because you haven't been honest with me. You're not even honest with yourself. Oh, oh. You led me into believing you're some sort of great hero. You could have told me the truth. I never told you I was a hero. You never denied it. Of course I didn't. Nobody wants to be a hero sometime. Well, for a few weeks I was a hero. You can't blame me for that. What about the war? The war? <laughs> the war. You know what I did during the war, over? Do you? Flew. Yeah. I flew a desk. A desk, Oval. And you know why? Because I'm a coward. That's why. Oh, I could fly, all right. I didn't have what it takes to fly combat. So they put me behind a desk. A desk with a great big yellow streak right down the middle of it. Lost even the nerve to fly after that. I got myself that damn thing down there when the war was all over. I didn't have the guts to fly it. I didn't even get it off the runway. I blew the takeoff the first time I was in her and ran into a fence. Now you'll see why I can't go through with it. But it's easy. You said so yourself. You just ease on the throttle and push the stick forward. The tail comes right up. And you just settle back and fly. Can't we do that? Just fly? Aren't you afraid I'd crash it? I am a bit, but I wouldn't do it if I didn't trust you. I was a good pilot, Orville. What's to say you're not still a good pilot? You never know unless you try. I just wanted to say thanks. Your mates will be surprised to see you. Mates? Who? Spike and the gang, they're round the corner. I'll go and get them to help him. Hey, Beryl, can't you fall over and break a leg or something? I don't want to go through with this. Hey, look what's coming! <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a hand, all of you? Can you help us? What's doing awful? To push our plane out. Must be awful heavy. <laughs> 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 
Can you give us a hand, old boy? Just asking. Push his way down. Don't worry about it, Harry. We'll manage ourselves. Beryl. Come on. Holy hell! Jesus, Bill! Check out all of them! Look at the old Terry, he's nearly got a hernia! Get the gang! Go! Are you playing sometime? Sure, Spike. Just after we get the bugs lined out of her. Ah, oh, thanks, mate.
Yeah. You were right. What? It's easy. What? You just ease on the throttle and, and push, push the, the stick forward, forward and, and the, the tail, tail comes right up. Then you just settle back and fly. <laughs> <laughs>